Hey guys, at BB Matson here, and I want to share with you a pretty quick little method to take your old crusty motorcycle engine from something like this, you know, straight out of the barn, to something pretty damn respectable, some nice polished aluminum there, in just a few easy steps, guys. I mean, trial and error is really what this has all been, but I think I kind of landed on something that works effectively, is really inexpensive actually. You don't need like a soda blaster or vapor blaster or anything like that. With a little bit of time and some of the right products, you can go from something like that to something like that in no time. So let's take a look at uh, what I'm using. To start things off guys, the first thing I like to do is uh, use a little bit of this super clean in the spray bottle to degrease everything going on on the motor. I've been using 3M. 3M pad scotch pads to use with the super clean to knock things out. Next thing you're gonna want, along with this, is just some brushes, brass brush, an old toothbrush, something like that will work really well to get into some of those kind of bolt heads, things like that. Then we follow it up with just a little bit of a cheap 3M rubbing compound. I mean, you could use anything you want, but this is a little bit more of an abrasive rubbing compound. And then where it all starts to come together are brass brushes on your Dremel. Work really, really great. I would encourage you to buy the uh, little higher quality brasses. This was a bulk bag that I got off Amazon. Not the highest quality. Wear eye protection because this thing will throw these little brass bits all over and you don't want to catch one of those in the eye. And other than that, you're going to need some microfiber towels, some cheap ones. They work out just fine and probably need some, some shop towels as well because uh, we're going to be wiping up a lot of gritty, grimy stuff. So really step one, grab the super clean. I tell you what, this stuff has been coming in really, really handy around the shop. You don't need a lot of it. Spray it on, let it sit for just a little while. Again, it just dissolves grease super fast, super easy. Um, I'm actually really liking this stuff. And what I found worked the best, I tried towels, I tried all kinds of different stuff. The 3M pad does a great job. And you can just kind of start working off that main layer of grease. You know, there's no way around it. I mean, you put in the time to get the shine. All right, when you run into some of these tricky spots, Great time to just go turn to a brush, get down into it. The brass brush is key. I wouldn't use a steel brush on it because you're gonna end up scratching the hell out of it. All right, once you've kind of hit it with the super clean, it's good just to go grab a nice clean rag and give it a nice little wipe down here. This uh, really breaks through all of that crud <laughs> that's on the top end of this engine, especially these barn finds, which these things can be a little bit grimy. And I just go to this cheap compound. I actually just went to my shelf and uh, grabbed the kind of the cheapest rubbing compound I could find. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, let's just work this little corner here. I'll show you what kind of results we can actually get with this. But, you know, be a little liberal, liberal with it. It's cheap stuff. And then go ahead and just grab your Dremel. And again, a brass bit. You don't want to be using steel stuff on this. I've got mine running at about 6,000 RPM. And that's what we can do here. Kind of going at it at an angle just a little bit. I already see this corner starting to shine up real quick. I'm just going to kind of a flat motion with it. Work it around. I love these Dremel bits because you can get down over these little fins, get into all the little nooks and crannies, and start pulling that around. In no time, you know, that thing starts to come together really quick. Here you go, a little before and after here. Real grimy, gritty, covered in gunk. I mean, these two little steps come together to give you a really presentable engine. All right, <laughs> that's not bad guys for, for like 20 bucks worth of materials. If you wanted to go nuts, you could come in with some polish and stuff and you know really start making this shine if you wanna go crazy, but uh, not me. I just want a nice clean engine 
for the apocalypse bike. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please remember to subscribe. Thumbs up those videos, okay? Also, share those videos. That really helps the channel grow. Visit KeepOnWrenching.com. Sign up for the e-newsletter. And also, check out some of the merch. Support the channel from there as well via the support tab. Guys, thanks so much for watching the videos. I've got my work cut out for me. <laughs> Definitely, but I did want to show you kind of what I think is working pretty well. A little super clean, a little rubbing compound, and never forget your trusty Dremel. All right, guys, see you in the next video or live stream.